Welcome to Idea Dream Home Season 5. From 54 shortlisted houses, our experts are going to help us zero down to that top 10. We are slowly and surely inching towards it. Let's meet our judges, Arun Vidya Sagar and Anna Kuruvilla, architects and interior designers profession. Uh, the question that I have for you today is uh, the paints in interior as well as exteriors. Uh, there are different kind of paints that are available in the market. There are special paints. What are the functionalities? Would you like to say something about that? See, the general paint that is available for interiors are emulsions, yeah. uh, washable, water soluble emulsions, and acrylic emulsions. Uh, I think water soluble emulsions are the most commonly used ones, mm -hmm. and uh, they have volatile organic compounds uh, which vaporize and the paint dries off. Now, this is also being let off. Uh, so, so that these paints become uh, green mm -hmm. uh, and they uh, agree to the norm set by the Green Building Council. So that is now uh, very prevalent and all paints, paint campaigns and paint companies are uh, changing into such a category. Mm -hmm. we, uh, other than the regular paints, we have elastomer based paints that are used uh, in, in the interior walls and exterior walls. Mm -hmm. This is uh, having a slightly elastic property which when dried it becomes like a stretchable membrane. So, if small cracks happen in the walls, uh, up to maybe 1, 1.5 mm, this paints can actually hold the surface together and the cracks won't be shown outside. So, this is a very special paint that is commonly used in high heat conditions, mm -hmm. especially in tropicals, uh, in Gulf countries, uh, it's very common. These paints have a slightly thicker section mm -hmm. than the regular paints and their application is also a little more mechanized. So this is a very special kind of paint. Some paints are there which, uh, which are used in the exterior have elastomers and algae resistance together. Mm -hmm. So that means th those paints have a lo longer life. For public buildings, this is the best paints that are, sh that are supposed to be used. Uh, they have a slight premium costing compared to the normal paints, mm -hmm. but on the long run, it is very cost effective because you don't have to maintain the building for a longer time. So uh, for public buildings, even for houses, exteriors, you can go for this uh, algae resistant uh, elastomer based paints. The contesting house for today is Cherupnath from Chalakudi. Hello friends, welcome to Idea Dream Home Season 5. Today we have with us Cherupnath house from Chalakudi, Trishur district. Now this house is approximately 3000 square feet built in the western style. <laughs> The house has been done in classic white and black colors, which gives it a stylish look, yet it's simple. So they have done the stone cladding mainly in the pillars outside. It's a sit-out area, small sit-out area right um, next to the entrance door. Also, they have a little uh, courtyard space at the outside, where above they have done pergola design that's covered by the polycarbonate sheets. The flooring uses in that space is matte finish vitrified tiles. So let's go inside now and check out the interiors. The entrance door welcomes us to the drawing room, which is also the family TV viewing space. The deco has been kept quite light. They have used white and lavender colors to adorn the uh, curtains of the windows. Well, they also have the wood paneling work done on the ceiling. Uh, that's the kind of the main attraction of this entire area. the house right next to me is the dining table it's a teak wood uh, glass sub dining table six seater next to the dining table we have a small patio 
which is very airy and uh, it has a colorful tone attached to it. Right behind me is the crockery shelf. The crockery shelf adjacent to that is a bedroom. There are two bedrooms on this particular floor. So that's one of the bedrooms. The other bedroom is next to the kitchen. Right opposite to me, uh, we have a small prayer room. <laughs> The prayer area wall pattern is quite different. They have used a lot of wood paneling work, uh, rosewood actually, to uh, define the prayer area quite nicely. Then the on the right, right side is a pathway that leads us directly to the open kitchen. We also have a bedroom in this particular space. They have chosen white and dark brown color for the um, color tone of the master bedroom. We have windows on either sides which helps in the cross ventilation and lighting. Wardrobe has been done uh, with wooden work. Uh, then the headboard same, it's wooden headboard. We have also a bathroom in this room. It's an open model kitchen. The main colors are white and brown, which seems to be the color most extensively used in the entire house. The cabinets um, have been brought above and below, granite slab. Then one more peculiar thing about this kitchen space is that this the design of the flooring is same, it's ceramic tiles, but then the other areas they had gloss finish. Now this area they have done matte finish so that it, you know, it provides a better grip. The, the kitchen is attached to the work area as well as storage space. Talk about the staircase, first of all it's um, steel railing, that's a combination of actually steel and wood. The pavements have been done uh, using ceramic tiles with matte finish. Now if you look behind me, uh, windows have been provided, actually the windows are block windows, window strips have been provided with LED lights also have been given. So it, it's, it's a different and unique pattern. Halfway of the staircase we have balcony, then it leads us directly to the upper floor. The atmosphere in the guest bedroom is quite airy and refreshing. They have wardrobes that are done in the same color as we have seen earlier, white and dark brown. The flooring remains to be ceramic tiles with gloss, gloss finish. Then um, they have a separate balcony in the guest bedroom. Dress area has been kept separate next to the bathroom. 